The movie begins by showing a professor named Professor Stern, who is working on his project in a lab. Not long after, Professor Stern felt hungry, so he bought food, then told his partner, Professor Buon, to look after the lab and the nanoparticle reactor machine. Professor Buon accepted Professor Stern's request, but when Professor Stern left, Professor Duan accidentally spilled his drink, causing the equipment there to be damaged and making the size of the parallel portal larger. At the same time, a strange tentacle emerged from the portal, pulled Professor Duan into the portal, and never returned. The scene then switches to a few years after the incident and shows a school that is holding a scientific work competition. According to the jury, many participants failed in the competition because their scientific work was very boring. Not long after, a teenage boy named Danny came forward to present his scientific work. Danny was also different from the other participants who showed their scientific work in pairs. Danny only came accompanied by his dog because Danny apparently did not have friends at school. Danny began presenting his scientific work, a nano-sized robot that could kill lice. Even though Danny's scientific work was an amazing invention, the judges didn't like it. They eliminated Danny, just like the other participants, who also created scientific work with amazing concepts. After that, it was the turn of a mischievous boy named Louis, who brought only a very simple scientific work. Louis only drinks soda, and then releases it through a hose connected to his volcano. But the judge is impressed and appoints Louis as the winner. Danny finally discovered that the judge was Louis's mother, who deliberately chose her son as the winner and ignored the other participants. Danny was disappointed and went backstage while swearing at Louis, but it turned out Louis heard that, so he was angry and immediately ordered two men to catch Danny. But Danny and his dog immediately ran away and hid in the bathroom. Unfortunately, they both got caught and were almost beaten up by Louis' subordinates. Luckily, a woman emerged from the toilet, captured Louis' two subordinates using her laser watch, and then locked them in the toilet. The woman then introduced herself as Ms. Evans, who claimed to be a principal of Cranston Academy. Cranston Academy is a secret school for geniuses. Ms. Evans then explains the purpose of her visit, which is to offer Danny a scholarship to attend Cranston Academy. Ms. Evans offered Danny a scholarship because she had seen Danny's academic performance. Ms. Evans then takes Danny on a virtual visit to Cranston Academy. Danny finally found out that Professor Edward had also attended the school. After the virtual visit, Ms. Evans asked Danny to think about his decision, but Danny immediately agreed to Ms. Evans' offer. This made Ms. Evans happy. She excused herself while saying she would send a car to pick up Danny and take him to Cranston Academy. Long story short, the car sent by Ms. Evans arrived at Danny's house, so Danny immediately said goodbye to his parents. Danny's father then advised Danny not to make strange experiments at school later, like the experiments he did on his chicken, which now turned into a giant. While on the road, Danny was amazed to discover that the car driver was a robot. Not only that, Danny was amazed that the car could fly because the journey to Cranston Academy was quite far. Not long after, Danny finally arrived at Cranston Academy and was immediately greeted by Ms. Evans, who immediately invited Danny to tour the Cranston Academy. Ms. Evans and Danny then arrived at the school's main hall, which was crowded with students with their respective inventions and made Danny feel amazed. The two returned to their tour and accidentally passed by the nanoparticle reactor building. Danny initially wanted to go inside, but it turned out that the building had long been closed by the school. After that, Ms. Evans escorted Danny to his classroom, and that he was introduced to his classmates and Professor Stern, his homeroom teacher. After Ms. Evans left, Danny was asked by Professor Stern to show his scientific work in front of his classmates, but suddenly his robot was taken by Professor Stern and destroyed. Danny was shocked and wanted to protest against the actions taken by Professor Stern. But Professor Stern told Danny that the scholarship Danny got was just a cover so Cranston Academy would not be short of students. Danny resigned and could not do anything. He then sat down and got acquainted with his seatmate named Liz. Liz also knew that the treatment from Professor Stern still hurt Danny so she advised Danny not to think about it anymore. But their conversation disrupted the study activities, so Professor Stern scolded them, which surprised Danny and accidentally destroyed Liza's scientific work, and Liz was angry with him. At night, Danny was escorted by the robot maid to the dormitory, but Danny was again surprised when he found out that his roommate was Liz. At first, Liz was reluctant to share a room with Danny, but it turned out that there were no more empty rooms available in the dormitory, except for the room Liz occupied. Liz could not do anything, while Danny installed a virtual dividing wall from the tool he created and tidied up his belongings, including putting up a poster of Professor Edward. Danny was very fond of Professor Edward, and he thought Liz didn't know about Professor Edward, but Liz said that Professor Edward was her father. That surprised Danny, and he started asking Liz about Professor Edward's figure. But Liz was reluctant to tell Danny about her father because it was late, 
so Liz chose to sleep. The next day, Liz, who had just woken up, was surprised to see that her scientific work that Danny had damaged had now returned to its original state. After that, Liz arrived at class and saw Danny, who looked very sleepy, so Liz immediately thanked Danny for fixing her scientific work. But Danny mocked Liz by saying that if Liz slept while snoring last night, it made Danny unable to sleep, so Danny decided to fix Liz's scientific work. Danny's words made Liz embarrassed and tried to defend herself, so the two of them argued in class. Professor Stern, who had just arrived in class, reprimanded them and defended Liz by explaining that snoring is good for health. After that, Professor Stern gave a sudden exam to all students, so Danny, who did not know about it, began to be confused and panicked. Danny also occasionally looked at Liz and hoped that Liz would tell him the answers to the exam, but Liz, still upset, ignored Danny. After the exam time, Professor Stern told the students to match the answers with the computer marking system to show the value of the questions they had done. Danny got a score of 99, which made Danny feel happy. But it turned out that the score was the lowest in the class because all students got 100. Professor Stern then reminded Danny to stay focused and be careful. He also explained that Danny's grade was determined by the scientific project that Danny would do. Professor Stern emphasized that if Danny failed to get a perfect scientific score, Danny would be expelled from Cranston Academy. The scene then switches to the dormitory room and shows Danny struggling to decide on his science project. Not long after, Liz enters the room and goes to sleep. But Liz snores loudly and disturbs Danny, so he can't continue studying. Danny then looked out the window and saw the reactor building which made him curious about what was inside the building. Danny decided to go to that place. Upon arriving at the location, Danny immediately opened the locked door with a multi-purpose screwdriver he had created. When Danny was inside, it turned out that the place was dark and very dirty, making Danny feel scared. But when Danny saw the atomic particle reactor machine that was still intact, Danny intended to repair the machine and create new particles. Danny would give his name to the machine if he succeeded in creating these particles. The next day at school, Danny was seen picking up the things he needed and started secretly repairing the atomic particle machine every night. But one night, Liz caught Danny sneaking out of the dormitory. And when Danny was in the reactor building, he was surprised by Liz, who suddenly appeared behind him. Liz warns Danny that Danny will get into trouble if the school discovers that Danny secretly entered the reactor building. Danny then explained that he only wanted to graduate from Cranston Academy by fixing the atomic particle machine and making it his scientific project. Liz explained that Professor Stern had tried to fix the device but never succeeded. However, Danny didn't change his mind and said he would still try to fix the machine using his method. Sometime later, the machine was finally successfully repaired by Danny. Liz was amazed and started helping Danny to turn it on. But that makes the electricity in the school go out even though the machine is now completely functional and the portal gate is open again. The curious Danny wanted to go inside, but Liz was worried and told Danny to tie his body with a rope so that Liz could immediately pull Danny off if something bad happened to him. After that, Danny bravely entered the portal and arrived in another dimension. Danny felt strange but also amazed, so he decided to go around further and tied the rope given by Liz to a tree. But when Danny arrived at a lake, he was shocked by the appearance of a creepy monster who tried to capture him. Luckily, Danny managed to save himself, but another monster came and chased Danny. So Danny was scared and immediately returned to the portal. At the same time, one of the strange human-shaped monsters managed to enter their world, then escaped from the building. Liz then turned off the reactor machine for fear of other monsters entering their world. After the machine died, Liz and Danny rushed off to look for the monster that had escaped, and they both finally found the monster in the school garden. The monster was very fond of light, and its shape was not as scary as the other monsters Danny had encountered earlier. The monster looked human but had wings and antennae like a moth. The monster can even speak Spanish and refers to himself as Mothman, which makes Danny and Liz surprised and confused. Danny immediately asked Mothman to tell him about himself and his world, but Mothman refused because he was currently very hungry and wanted to eat tacos immediately. Hearing this, Danny and Liz immediately took Mothman to the nearest taco restaurant. While eating, Mothman began to tell stories, and it turned out that Mothman was Professor Buon, who was sucked into the atomic particle reactor machine at the beginning of the movie. Mothman also explained that he used to be an engineer at Cranston Academy, but he was sucked in by a portal and trapped in a world of monsters called the Fifth Parallel World. Mothman tried to survive and fight the monsters in that world, but a moth monster bit him, making him mutate into the Mothman he is today. While in the monster world, Mothman also created the sauce made from the ingredients there Danny, who likes spicy food, tried to taste the sauce.
But the sauce is so spicy. Mothman then explained that he made the sauce to relieve his headache. After that, Danny and Liz take Mothman to the dormitory. Then Danny returns to prepare his belongings and goes to the reactor building again to open the portal. But Liz reminded Danny that today they both had to go to school, and Liz also warned Danny not to skip school because the school would send a search team. After hearing this, Danny abandoned his intention, went to school with Liz, and left Mothman alone in the dormitory room. When they arrived in class, Professor Stern said that if students wanted their main project to pass, they had to score 80% of the final grade. After that, Professor Stern asked Danny about the project proposal that he would be working on. Danny answered loudly that he and Liz would work on a project about the fifth parallel world. But Professor Stern, who heard that, advised Liz not to work with Danny and considered Danny's project just fiction. Unexpectedly, Mothman suddenly appeared at the classroom window, surprising Danny and Liz. They both immediately asked Professor Stern for permission to go to the toilet to meet Mothman outside. Danny and Liz also warned Mothman to hide because if other people saw Mothman's existence, it would be very dangerous. Even so, Danny didn't want to go to class again because of Professor Stern's attitude towards him. So he invited Liz to go and check the reactor machine. But when the three of them got there, they were surprised to see the portal that had opened itself. Mothman also said that other monsters must have managed to enter their world. Not long after, they suddenly heard a scream and immediately went to check it out. They then found a student who was trapped in pink slime. Seeing that, Mothman immediately realized that the monster that came out was a slime monster that he called Manuel. The three of them immediately searched for Manuel's locations until they finally found Manuel in the computer lab, and a fight ensued between Manuel versus Mothman. Manuel manages to throw Mothman and chases Danny and Liz. However, Danny pushed Liz away, so Manuel pushed him. Luckily, Danny manages to hold Manuel back and then throws Mothman's homemade sauce into Manuel's eyes, causing Manuel pain and going nowhere. After the fight, they were surprised by Ms. Evans and Professor Stern, who knew everything, so Danny and Liz try to explain the situation. However, Professor Stern doesn't believe that Danny managed to fix the reactor machine because he has been fixing it for years, but has yet succeeded. As a result of the chaos, Ms. Evans was forced to expel Liz and Danny from Cranston Academy and send them home. Before leaving, Danny kept trying to convince Ms. Evans, but his efforts were in vain. When Danny and Liz were about to go home, Manuel suddenly came and immediately ate Ms. Evans and ran away. Seeing this, Professor Stern suddenly became afraid because Danny's words were true. After that, Danny, Liz, and Mothman saw that the portal was getting bigger and the possibility of bigger monsters would also come. So Danny and Liz immediately convinced Mothman to appear in public to save people from the monsters. But suddenly, Mothman had another headache and turned into an evil monster, almost putting Danny and Liz into the portal. Luckily, Danny immediately gave Mothman homemade sauce so that Mothman would regain consciousness. Mothman then explained that in the monster world, there were brain monsters who could control monsters, including Mothman, and told them to kidnap people at Cranston Academy. Hearing this, Danny and Liz intend to save the kidnapped people, including Ms. Evans. They also invite Mothman to work together to close the portal before the chaos spreads everywhere. Meanwhile, in the dormitory, the students were scared because the monsters came and attacked them. But Professor Stern, who was also there, did not intend to help the students and instead was busy preparing his belongings and wanted to escape. But before that happens, a monster finds Professor Stern and kidnaps him. The scene returns to Danny and Liz, who are busy preparing the tools to close the portal. But when they are about to leave, it turns out that many monsters are roaming outside, making it difficult for them to go to the reactor building. Not long after, their classmates arrive, and Liz tries to convince them to work together to distract the monsters while she, Danny, and Mothman will go to the reactor building to save their school. After that, they all split up to divert the monsters. Danny then appeared with Professor Stern's giant hamster monster, which somehow changed. The hamster monster helps Danny and Liz hold back the attacking monsters, so they finally arrive at the reactor building. But when Danny and Liz were about to enter the portal, Mothman didn't even come along, making Danny feel disappointed. However, when Danny and Liz entered the portal and were attacked by the monsters, Mothman came to help them both. Mothman also explained that he had doubts before entering the portal, but he now considers Danny and Liz his family and for Mothman, there is nothing more important than family. After that, Mothman escorted Danny and Liz to where the brain monsters were bypassing several obstacles until the three of them finally arrived and saw several people who had been kidnapped, hanging unconscious. The frightened Liz immediately tried to pull out one of them, 
but Mothman stopped her because if she just pulled it out, the people would die. Mothman explained that killing the brain monster was the only way for the people to survive. They continued their journey until nighttime, but decided to sleep and continue their journey tomorrow. But Danny suddenly woke up because the insects appeared and started biting him. Danny then woke up Liz and Mothman, but Mothman suddenly lost control again and was pulled by the tentacles of the brain monster. This made Danny feel very guilty because everything that happened to Mothman and everyone at school was because of his actions. At first, Danny gave up and despaired but Liz convinced Danny to continue their struggle, and they followed the tentacles to find the whereabouts of the brain monster. Danny and Liz finally managed to find the locations of the brain monster and immediately tried to find a way to kill the brain monster. But the brain monster rises while releasing the people he has captured and tries to catch Danny and Liz. They both ran away, but Liz finally had a way to make the brain monster's tentacles entangled and was finally able to release the people. The brain monster finally showed its form, rose from underground, and managed to capture Liz. But Danny immediately used the flea exterminator nanorobot into the brain monster's body. Danny also made the brain monster freeze and destroy it, so everyone regained consciousness. Even so, the place they were in was about to collapse, so Danny and Liz directed people to escape and exit through the portal. But Manuel reappeared and blocked them, so that Mothman held Manuel, so that Danny, Liz, and others could get out. At first, Danny and Liz felt sad because they felt that Mothman did not survive, but suddenly Mothman came with a new appearance and immediately hugged them both. The film ends with Mize Evans rewarding Danny and Liz for saving Cranston Academy from the monsters. Mothman is officially accepted back to be part of Cranston Academy. Professor Edward even attended the award ceremony and made Danny faint because of the shock of getting a dinner invitation from Professor Edward. In addition, the reactor building has also been reopened, so Danny and Liz are ready to continue their project of finding the sixth parallel world. The moral message that can be learned from this movie is not to judge people by their appearance. Like Professor Stern who always underestimates Danny, it turns out that Danny can do what he cannot namely repairing the reactor machine.